Yo, what up, my people? It's your boy DeVito, and this is the playlist of my life. Yes, the first one is Hey Little Love It by the game featuring 50 Cent. Hey Little Love It, the underdogs on top. And I'm gonna shine on me until my heart stops. And I was a big G Unit fan, I was a big 50 Cent fan. I was a big The Game fan. Saw him at Nobu the other day. Just, I just like the song, the melodies. I love the samples. Yeah. I think like this is when I start getting into like people sampling like old type of old records and bringing it back with hip hop beats. I love the video. I love the remix. I just love everything about it. Just the time of my life of just being young and just liking hip hop and just being in love with hip hop. I'm rap MVP and I ain't going nowhere. So you can get to know me. Gonna go out by Nice. Amazing record. I remember driving to when I was in high school, hearing that song on the radio every time. It's still like one of the biggest songs ever to drop from Nigeria. Amazing record. It brings that energy. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you're on top of the world. I listen to the song mostly in the car on the go. It's a very energy driven song. In the club by 50 Cent. Go show it. It's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday. I was like the biggest 50 Cent fan in the club. Was a record like when I first heard it, I knew it was a bang. And that time, that's when like I started going to clubs a little bit. I used to be like 14 years old in the club, so like I had the game, I had G and sneakers, I had everything, you know. So in the club, definitely reminds me of like when I started actually going to the club as a young child. In Nigeria though, not American, as a kid. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because I've always grown up with people older than me. Every time I listen to it, I know this song, you know, played a particular soundtrack in a, in, a, in, a, in a time in my life. Walking Away by Craig David. I'm walking away. Shout out to Craig David. Craig David, I'd say one of my biggest musical influences, like I've said many times, me and my, my sisters, they love Craig David growing up. Yeah, they, they, they play all his albums. I wouldn't say it reflects me in any way, but I just really like the song. In a period of time, it affected me, but I just it's just good. It's just a good song, and I love the song, and I love Kirk David. I love his artistry. I love everything about him. Olufumi by Style Plus. Shout out to Style Plus. Style Plus was one of like there was like the Nigerian Backstreet Boys, the Nigerian B2K. You know what I'm saying? Like it was huge. It was I think it's three or four of them. It was amazing. Like. <laughs> Yeah, I played their albums back to back. You know, Olufumi, an amazing song that still rings out in the club in Nigeria. This time in my life reminds me of like, damn, I think I just got into high school. One of my dad's friends had taken us to a, like a Valentine show, like back in the day, and a day performed. And I remember just walk, watching them on stage. And I'm like, yo, one day I want to do this. You know what I'm saying? It was amazing to see. African Queen by Two Face. You are my African Queen. If not the biggest, one of the biggest African records to ever come out, African Queen by Two Face. He's a big brother to me. He's like almost like a father to me. Um, shout out to Two Face, crazy, still popping to today. You know, what I'm saying? African Queen was the first African song they put in the movie. So that was amazing to see at my age, knowing that somebody from Africa can um, release a song and it will be appreciated all over the world and left alone to be put in a soundtrack of a movie that's shown in all the theaters in the whole of the United States. That's amazing to see. Do Me by P-Square. Yo, P-Square, another set of legends. They're actually twins. This is one of the songs that made like African music start getting played like in Europe and like in London. Like P-Square, like they did that. Like they did that job. They definitely paved the way for us. But I just remember just seeing that video on TV because the video was amazing. You know, just dancing in front of the TV and it's like, oh, you know when a video comes on back in the day, you don't see TV, just start dancing? The song makes you want to dance. <laughs> so pull up the bump and move, make we groove. The beat, the everything, the lyrics, just the whole facade. And they dance too. They actually dance too, so. Give me a big deal by the NOC. It's a big deal to me because he was the first, like, big Nigerian artist that got on my record, the back when, my first record, he got on my record. To me, this is like the rock boys of Nigeria in terms of like songs, celebration, celebrating success, cele celebrating black excellence. Kitty Big Deal was amazing. Big song, time in my life, 
I felt on top of the world. Felt like a big boy. Me and my friends playing that and just feeling good. The song is talking about celebrating. The lyrics is about celebration. Keep it big dude, what's the big deal? We having fun. That's what the song is talking about. All of these songs together as an artist, as a person, some songs inspired my music, I'd say. Some songs were just my lifestyle at the time. You know, I was very urban. I was very hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of like the game and the 50 cents that I put in there, very instrumental to my lifestyle. Like musically, like the Olufumi by Star Plus, African Queen by Two Face. I think those kind of shape my shaky musically. The playlist is basically my life, but if you listen to it, like to me, all songs did something for me differently. If you walked into somebody's house and this was the playlist they had going, what would you think about that person? About a house. Now I'd be like, yo, turn it up, and I'll probably just sit down, listen, and just reflect. Yes, thank you, Team Vogue, for hanging out with me. And that was the playlist of my life. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good time.